subtraction. Okay, the question subtract. Okay, sixty rupee fifty paise from. Okay, eighty rupee. Okay, this is the first question. Subtract sixty and fifteen paise from eighty rupee. So from means this is a bigger number. So you should write the bigger number at the top of the subtraction. So you have to separate the number that is by column that is rupees and paise. Okay, and now write down this first number. This this one is a bigger number. So eight zero eighty no. Paise at all, so put a zero and sixty. That is sixty rupee, and here fifteen paise. Okay, now you have to subtract the sum. Okay, by zero. Okay, you you won't subtract zero from five. So you have to regroup from this nearby ten also zero and nearby hundred also zero. So you have to carry over from this number. So it becomes seven and this. Makes it as a hundred, and it brings to the that is ninety, and from this ninety you have to bring down the number that is ten. Here that is nine, and here that is nine. Okay, so ten minus five that is five, and nine minus one that is eight. Okay, here that is seven, uh, nine minus zero that is nine, and seven minus six that is one. Okay, that is the answer is. Nineteen rupees eighty-five paise. Okay, so this is a subtraction method. First, you have to check out the which number is bigger one and then the which number is smaller one. So try write to write to put in correct correct form that is rupees and paise, and you should write the bigger number at the top. Okay, and the smaller unit below the bigger number, and you have to subtract the number. these are the regrouping method as we learnt in our previous subtraction topic okay children uh, i hope you know the this subtraction method okay so this is a method to subtraction and next we are going to the that is multiplication okay we see in multiplication in money Okay, for multiplication also, okay, I going to write the question that is multiply, that is rupees multiply ninety rupees and ten paise by three. Okay, this is the question. Multiply ninety rupees. That means. If you put a dot, it mention and you should read that is ninety rupees and ten paise. Okay, no need of writing R for all this. You have no no need of write this because two digit the dot will be after the two digit. You read as it is ninety rupees and ten paise. Okay, so multiply rupees ninety and ten paise by three. Okay, first you have to write down the first number that is ninety and ten. Make a dot here, and that is divisor. Sorry, multiplicand, multiplicand, and this is a multiplier. Okay, this is a multiplicand, and this is a multiplier by three. So put three, and say the multiplication table. Okay, that is three zero zero and one three is three. Okay, and three zero again zero nine threes are twenty seven. And how to put the dot here? Because of one rupee is equal to hundred paise. of the two zero digits you have to put a dot after the uh, two digits that is from right hand side to the left hand side make a dot here so answer is okay that is 270 rupees 30 paise okay this is a method to multiplication and let me know next that is a division sum how to division and make a word problem of addition subtraction and multiplication and division we are going to do with example sum let me move on to the next division sum okay how to make a division sum in that is money rupees and paise how to divide the money okay 
that is we are going to that is division okay our question is that is uh, 40 rupee 20 paise okay that is divide by okay 2 okay that is 40 rupee and 20 paise divide by 2 here this is a dividend and this is a divisor okay uh, one more thing here you ignore this dot for division okay for this uh, division method you have to ignore this dot and put a dividend like this 40 and 20 make a normal division and put a divisor here that is 2 okay and here that is you have to take the first number that is 2 2's are 4 okay and 0 that is over this 0 and okay and down the 2 that is 1 2 is 2 again that is 0 put down this 0 and over this that is for this you would make it as a quotient and this is a reminder okay now the answer is 20 10 make it a rupees and paise then you have to put the two place after the two place digit you have to put the dot here and make it as a rupee and paise in a quotient place okay first you have to ignore this dividend and do it as a normal division children okay and make it as a number and after the finishing of the division up to the uh, reminder you have to put a dot from this quotient from the right to the left side once and tens place after you have to make it as a dot and 20 rupees 10 paise is the answer the answer is okay 20 rupees 10 paise okay so this is a method to divide the money by the uh, divisor okay so we have discussed how to add how to subtract and how to multiply and how to divide the money uh, that is rupees and paise okay and let me move on to the next conversion of how to convert the money into paise and paise into money by the uh, unit method okay